What's going on guys, it's Shane. We are back here again with another video. Today we're going to be returning to Fishing Planet. I'm currently recording this video at 5.30 in the morning. Uh, so I apologize if I sound a little quiet. People are still asleep. So um, today we're going to be trying to catch stripers, um, white bass, whatever you want to call them. Um, so let's go ahead and head out here. Still at San Joaquin. Uh, been doing quite a bit of fish in here um here's my setup it's very overpowered <laughs> um we probably shouldn't be using this so it, it it's not going to make for a good video for like fighting and stuff but um i'm going to use an eight foot crankbait with a four aught um and you'll see me switch into a uh a four aught popper and a two aught frog and this x series walker i like that one too actually uh, it's very cool. So we're going to spawn. I'm going to start over here. And the good thing about stripers or just bass in general on this game is uh, they'll pretty much bite at any time of the day, even at night. Uh, however, we're going to switch to daytime because it looks a lot prettier. Looks a lot prettier. Um... Now, I don't fish this spot too often, but we got a guy out here in a kayak. I usually fish over there, but we'll try it over here real quick. Uh, I know a lot of people like to throw behind this. Uh... Oh, he's going to get my way too. So I'm going to start with the current bait. See if we can get anything here. It's on the bottom right now. Come on. Oh, you know what? Nah, I probably shouldn't be using the crankbait right here. Yeah, it's... I probably should be using like a six foot. I don't know how deep it is right there. I think it's a little deeper. Uh, I think about right over here, I think. I think. No. Hold on. The possibility of getting something off the bottom here is uh, slim to none. So. We'll probably just do top water in this area. So we'll go ahead and switch to that. X series walker. Hmm. See what we can do here. Now my method with this is not very consistent. <laughs> It's not. It's really not. Not at all. Probably gonna get skunked out here today. The walker usually works. We are getting nothing out here. This is usually, I don't re usually go for stripers right here, actually. Uh, you'll probably catch more steelhead and uh, smallmouth specifically in that area. So uh, let's actually try casting out in front of us. That's actually probably where we could use the uh, crankbait. Uh, got a little bit of lag here. Why are we frozen? Come on, man. There we go. Jesus. That lag spike was huge. Now I got this guy's name reflecting off the water.
Man, we are getting nothing. Okay. Let's try the uh, good old crankbait then. Ways out there. Now I know it's at least like 20 feet deep out there. And it's still going to go to the bottom like that. If it goes to the bottom, is it, does that mean it's, it's shallow, right? I would think. I don't know. I don't use crankbaits that often. There we go. Finally, got our first fish, and he's, uh, it's probably not a bass, the way it's fighting on this setup. I don't think it's a bass. Oh, no, wait. Oh, he's jumping out there. Was that him? I don't think that was him. That was a little too far to be him. No, it's a, uh, no, it's not a bass. It's, what are these called? This is a steelhead, ain't it? No, it's a striper. Oh, it's a nice striper. Oh, it's a real nice striper. Oh, oh, never mind. Look at that. There we go. That's what we're looking for. I thought it was a, uh, um, I guess I thought it was a steelhead or something, but wow, look at that. So we're going to keep him. Throw it right back out in the same spot. I'll tell you what I like to do is over there where I catch my, uh, not off that dock, but past it where I catch my, uh, my white sturgeon. Um, I'll set up my, my two bottom rods and I'll just throw this out there. And a lot of times I'll pull in a striper that would get me an extra thousand dollars, which would be cool. And I'll do that at nighttime because it works. Very cool. Man, the way he bit that thing, though, that was awesome. Oh, there we, oh, we got a hit. But now we could also do a little bit of trolling. I've never really done the trolling. Uh, it's actually not a real method. I mean, it is a real method. It works, but it's not legit. <laughs> Maybe in another video. There we go. I bet it's another striper the way it's fighting. I don't know if anything other than bass will go for this crankbait. That's that's what we're testing really today. And I, I know I shouldn't be using this setup, but it is a striper. Nice. Look at that. Our last one was 21 pounds. This one's a small one, 11 pounder. Look at that. Uh, let's try it out here. So we're getting a lot more luck over here because it's a little deeper. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, we got a hit on something. Oh, that might have actually just been the rocks. That'll happen sometimes. And that's kind of the issue with the setup like this. When you're going after smaller fish, um, it's way too strong. So if I do get a hit on something, it almost has to hook itself because there's no way I'm going to see it. Sometimes I will, but I ain't that good. And that's kind of why I like the crankbait. Usually they will hook themselves, especially the striper. definitely want to try to get one off the top of the water so we're going to switch back to that uh we'll switch to the popper uh, this guy here uh, 
I guess you theoretically could go one, but I want to go two. And you catch us something right there. I don't know, guys. Top water is just not the move. And uh, to show you that they do bite at night, we will do a little bit of night vision as well. I don't know if I said that or not, but. Oh, there, oh, man, he came up out of the water. See, that's what I'm saying. I timed it wrong. That was a big striper, too, it looked like. Man, that was nice. I'm not the greatest at top water. Let's try the frog. I don't really throw this out here. It's a fairly sunny day. So, what the heck? Yeah, why did it spawn us way back here? What the... Weren't we just over here? The heck was that about? They might go after this frog though. I don't know. Oh, there we go. No. You're just, oh, is he on there? He's on there. See, that's the problem with this little, that's a small mouth, I think. Yeah, very small one. I'll have a definitely a very hard time hooking these guys. I'm, I didn't even think I had them on there. Guess that's my fault for using a 2 aught huh? Uh, switch back to this 4 aught x series. Oh, we got something off the top. Let's throw it out here. They're over here jumping like crazy. Can't say we didn't get anything off the top. Because we did. Hmm. Okay, let's, um... Let's switch it up a little bit. Let's go to the dock. Now we're gonna go to this one over here. And what we can do. So uh, when, I, when I'm when i over there fishing with my uh, bottom rods, I usually cast it right about here and I'll reel it in because it is a little deep here actually throughout this whole area. So let's switch it to our crankbait. Uh, I guess we could go to the right of the island here. Should be able to get something here. Oh, not like that, you're not. Yep, right in the middle of the water. That's what we want. There we go. I called it. I think it's a, uh, it's a striper. Love the striper on this map. They're so fun to catch. Especially with the addition of these nets. So cool. I'm getting the hang of the net. Look at that. He's beautiful. Definitely my favorite type of bass. They just so great. A lot of people like to call them uh, stripers, stripe bass, hybrids. You know, I guess you could be right here. We call them anything you want. They all kind of fall under the same thing. Oh, I'm over here walking the thing. <laughs> Let 
like I'm using top water. What am I doing? I mean, I'm over here popping the thing. What? It's nuts. This is where I caught him last time. Is off the bottom right here. Hey, is that crankbait ever gonna? There, there he is. But yeah, see, it's real deep right there. Not deep enough though. We were just on the bottom. Sorry, no, it's a little deeper out here. Let's go to the right of the island. Now, I do want to make Fishing Planet a more regular series on my channel. Uh, I just don't know if anybody's ever going to watch them. Uh, oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. Reel it in. Thank you. Almost lost him there. Another striper. Ooh, this guy looks a little bigger. And it, mind you guys, this is, I think I got 30 pounds Hest on here. Uh, and it's like putting up a pretty good fight. Look at that. Oh, another trophy. Our biggest one of the day. How do we take a screenshot again? I have no idea. How do you take a screenshot with uh, the F12? Yep. I knew it. I knew it. Let's try taking... Mm. Actually, uh, hold on real quick. Let's, uh, how do you get that, uh, P for photo mode? Here we go. Uh. How exactly do you get the photo? I guess we could use F12 as well. That works. Nice. Nice. So we caught him. I'll put down a uh, set of marker for our last fish right there. Oh, he we caught him just before the uh, but you can see where it gets deep in this uh, uh, I guess you call it a channel really. And what you can do is you can take your your uh, your boat and you can kind of troll this little column here, uh, kind of if you really want to, but. So we caught him just out there. Man, that's right where we, that's as far as we can go. I don't have the best setup on this rod, so I can't cast very far. So it drops off right here because it's very deep. And then we don't have much until it kind of drops back to the bottom. There we go. Another striper. Oh, this one looks bigger. God darn. <laughs> We're not getting skunked anymore. Oh, this one is bigger. Gotta be. You can I love how clear the water is here. You can definitely see him down there. I got my light on. I gotta turn that off. Oh, this guy's big. He might be a PB for me. Look how big he is. He's more than 25 pounds for sure. Has to be. Dang, this is 30 pound test with a like 60 pound reel. <laughs> it's nuts. Oh my goodness. Look at him. Okay, we can get him in here. Look at that. I, he's got 30 pounds, maybe unique 40 pounder. Oh, look at that. That is a personal best. See, this is what I'm talking about. And they pay pretty decent. Honestly, they pay better than the sturgeon when you get the uniques. Wow. Wow. Yeah, we're going to have to get a photo of that guy. 
Look at this. Oh, 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 oh. oh man, you are amazing. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> awesome. All right. Well, we're going to let you go. Nah, I should have marked him down. Well, we know where to catch him. Just right out here towards the right of the island. This whole little area here. You guys saw it first. And we caught him about like right here off the bottom. Not off the bottom. Uh, Almost off the bottom. But um, to prove that this works during the night, we will go ahead and skip here. Turn our little light on. And we'll just cast it right back out there. Hopefully we can catch something. That was awesome. We got a unique in the video. Amazing. Hmm. We got a hit. I missed him though. It was probably something small. This is where we've been getting most of our luck here on the bottom for some reason. They just love to hang out around this dock. But I love catching the striper. They're they're very nice, very nice. It's definitely if if you're getting burned out here with the sturgeon, you you definitely want to take a break and go after something else here. And we got no, we almost had them. Dang it! You definitely want to go after something else, and I I, I definitely recommend the striped bass. I can see why they put them in this map because they are definitely fun, and you definitely need fun when you're for those sturgeons so uh, like I said I usually cast uh, well when I'm on the other side I'll cast towards this dock so let's see if we can catch something here I usually do or out in front of that island right there actually that's a better area because that's kind of where that column goes it's right there And I know it's a bit unorthodox it's fishing on the bottom with a crankbait, but ooh, good cast. Uh, I gotta catch one at night just to show you guys. They do bite, but it's not it's not often. But they do bite. You know, there's some fish that won't bite at all at night. However, the bass tend to bite at night. Even in Florida, the Everglades, uh, the largemouth love to bite at night. With like a, you can honestly put like a, one of those worms with like a neon, like a neon worm or whatever, the ones that glow in the dark. Those will work. I don't know if they'll work here, but they work. There we go. Oh, he's, ooh. He's immediately pulling. Mm, I think it is another striper. You can almost tell by the way they move across the water. They're very quick with their movements. As are all bass. Yep, striper. Look at that. He's gonna be a little one though. Yeah, he's not very big. Yep. 13 pounder. Look at that. Very nice. Um, so this has proven to be the better area for the striper, <laughs> for sure. Definitely the better area. And it, if you guys want to use this crankbait, it definitely works. 
uh, you saw it there. We literally just caught a unique off this four uh, eight foot crankbait. This is the, uh, I think it's the perch. It imitates the perch color perch. Yeah. Uh, so not bad. Let's. We ain't got much luck with the top water, so maybe we'll try it one more time. Uh, we'll do it in this area. And to see your bait, you almost got to zoom in all the time. Oh, there's fish jumping out there to the left. Mm. No, ain't getting much. Uh, you could theoretically throw a frog and fish between these uh, that grass there, but I don't know how well that would. Let's go to the dock over there. I've actually never been off that dock. One on the far. I think you can keep going, can't you? Yeah. Wait, what? Oh, no, I thought there was another dock there. There's one here, though. Let's see if we can catch anything. Hey, we might be able to... Let's try something different here. <laughs> something different. You know, we might catch a unique here or something. Never know. Probably not at night time, but mm. Mm. I don't know. So one more time. You know, actually, let's start on that frog because it is nighttime. Frogs come out at night. And this is a brighter color, so it might actually work. I don't know. It's very bright. Look at that. This is probably a better method right here, using the one speed. And, uh, I don't know. Hmm. Very weird. Just throw it right out here. Probably our last cast of the day, so. Or of the night, I should say. Oops. No, nothing. So the bite is definitely better during the day, obviously, but they do bite at night, as you saw. So, um, yeah, this is us catching monster striped bass, apparently, at San Joaquin. But uh, if you do want to see more videos on Fishing Planet, let me know down below. If you like the video, please like and subscribe, and I'll just show you guys our keep net here. Look at that. $7,000 worth of bass. Not bad. This, I'm very surprised about this. This is amazing. Look at this thing. Wow. Anyway, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.